Hello everyone, welcome back to day two of Justin's coding, learning how to make a game adventure, whatnot. So, as you can see, a, a, a lot's changed. We don't have this boring, the boring gray background anymore. We have some cliffs up here that are currently blue. It's because they are a, um, a, 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 a collision path along with these bushes. But you notice we got these and we got paths and all this stuff now. Um, this is just a kind of a tester scene, so don't expect this being in the final game whenever I get around to that. Again, I expect this to look a lot different because I plan on doing my own assets instead. But, um, one thing going on I'm actually having a bit of trouble with is whenever I press space, you can see now we have these awesome, and oh, he also, he also does these little animations. That runs around, he, uh, slices the sword up, down, right, left. But yeah, he. Uh, I'm, but currently, when I'm swinging my sword, these should all go away and have their own animation to them. So I have to go back and code and figure that out. Um, Godot's very, very, very cool, and also we have we also have um, what's called Y Y sorting. So if I'm in front of this bush, I'm in front of the bush, right? If I didn't have Y sorting. It, just, it would just be in whatever place I put them down. Like, if I put him down last, he would be on top of everything. But since we're Y-sorting now, he actually can go in front and behind, depending on the Y-axis he's on, to, um, to be, you know, to show where he's at in the world. Like, he can go behind this, but if he, when he's in front of it, he's in front of it. So that's simple stuff like that. That's what we're working on. Got some cliff terrain, so we're working on that stuff. But like I said... Um, something's stumping at the moment, and we will get, we will, uh, hopefully get to that in the next time I have a chance to work on this. It's gonna be a couple days, because of work, unfortunately, but yes. So this is day two of my coding, game-making journey, and I've run into my first real problem, which is that I should also have the hitboxes done next time I have a video for you guys, but yeah, I just wanted to show you progress on day two. It, it just a, bi a big difference. I'm still working on my own assets, so actually, I'm debating on whether to hire somebody to help me make ac a assets because it's a lot of work, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to pull it off. But I'm going to try first, then I'll look into maybe asking for some help or uh, pay somebody. So yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, chop, 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 chop. You're supposed to go away. What's wrong? It's coding. Why? Okay. But it was working yesterday, I swear. I turned the game on today, and uh, now it's not. So I have to go back and code and figure all that out. This is going to be a pain in my ass. But, okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This has been day two. Two swipes for day two. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little bit of video on the update. And, uh, as always, keep fighting.